Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at treehugger.com and they got a great article by Lloyd Alter looking up to radiant ceilings for heating and cooling. He explains why radiant heating is so much better than forced air, but radiant ceilings are better than radiant floors because you don't have a conductivity problem where too much heat is transferred into the room because you're conducting it right from the feet. Yes, it feels good to walk on a nice heated floor. I've done it a couple of times. It's nice. But for the most efficient heating, consider radiant ceiling panels. This one here has an acoustical panel designed for some soundproofing. But this is the basic design here. Just some tubes running through here with a gypsum board, which is a drywall, over the top of it. This is from Messana, an Italian company. And I'll link to their website as well. But this article goes into great detail about why radiant heating is so good. Part of it is it just heats the interior surfaces of the home. But one of the best parts about this system is you can do radiant cooling very effectively because remember heat energy rises. So if you can cool the ceiling down to a, you know about 50 degrees Fahrenheit or so or just below the dew point anyway or above the dew point then uh, it will cool the home. It'll take heat energy out of the home without condensating and causing a little rainstorm inside your home. It's a great system, could be very efficient. Hydronic heating or heating with water is one of the most efficient systems and evaporative cooling is also very efficient. And this is sort of along the same principles of just taking heat energy out of your home to provide cooling rather than, than having forced air conditioning. Well, anyway, that's it for this story. You can follow the link in the description. And again, I'll link also to Masana's website, an Italian company that makes these. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.